Hello kindergartners, Mrs. Unfried here with your um, picture story for the week. This week's picture story is all about protecting our environment, which is what we learned when we learned about Earth Day last week. And we've also learned a little bit about that in one of our science lessons this week when we read the story about the big blue whales. So our picture story for this week is called Protect the Environment. And you'll remember from our vocabulary videos that the environment is the nature all around us. So the land, lakes, uh, oceans, um, all of that, a forest, that's all the environment. So this story is going to talk about different ways we can protect it. Take a breath of fresh air. Sip some clean water. Go for a walk at your local park. Air, water, and parks are part of our environment. We need a healthy environment to survive and enjoy life. Sometimes people hurt the environment, but you can help protect the environment every day. Some places do not have enough clean water. That is why we must not waste water. Take short shallows, or excuse me, take short showers or shallow baths. Shallow means not deep, so don't use too much water when you take a bath. Turn off the faucet while you brush your teeth. Collect, collect rainwater in a bucket and use it for all of your house plants. Using cars can pollute the air. To keep the air clean, use cars less. Instead, ride your bike, walk, take the bus, or share a car with others. Another way to protect the air is to plant trees. Trees take away some dirty air and make clean air. Every new tree adds clean air to the environment. And who remembers the name of the holiday where we celebrate by planting trees? If you said Arbor Day, you are correct. And that's another holiday that helps to protect our environment that we learned about last week. Now let's talk about garbage. We need to keep our environment clean and free of trash and litter. When it comes to garbage, Follow the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. When you reduce, you buy fewer new things and make less trash in the world. Sharing is one way to reduce. When you share a book or a game, you do not have to buy new ones. If you fill a reusable water bottle with tap water, you do not need to buy plastic water bottles every time you are thirsty. Reusing means using the same thing many times. This helps you make less trash. For example, take the same cloth bags to the grocery store every time you shop. That way, you will not have any plastic bags to throw away. Writing on both sides of your notebook paper is another way to reuse. Recycling is the last of the three R's. Lots of trash is recyclable, so it should go in a recycling bin instead of the garbage can. Some examples of recyclable trash are soft drink cans, cardboard, paper, glass jars, plastic bottles, and yard waste, such as grass and leaves. So some things that we do at school to help protect the environment that I thought of while reading that page, we have the new water fountain where you guys can bring your own water bottles to school and fill them up throughout the day. So that's one way to reduce and reuse. And we also have our recycling bins in our classroom that we use. So I know you guys were always really good about making sure we recycled paper and cardboard and plastic and anything that we could. Today, we are lucky to have electric lights, battery powered games, and machines that wash our clothes. But all of these objects use energy, and using too much energy can hurt the environment. Also, there are limits to how much energy we can use. That is why we must always use energy wisely. There are many ways to save energy, or to use less of it in the first place. Turn off lights that you are not using. Ask your parents to buy special light bulbs called CFLs because they use less energy. Unplug computers and televisions when you go on vacation. Also, you can save a lot of energy if you hang your clothes to dry outside 
instead of using an electric dryer. Heat and air conditioning are major energy users. If your heat is on, make sure all the doors and windows are closed. When the weather is warm, open some windows instead of turning on the air conditioning. Or even better, ride bikes to the park with your family and swim in a cool lake. Mrs. Sunfried loves when she's able to open the windows on nice days at her house. Here's our last page. Humans have the power to change the environment of all animals and plants. Every year, many types of living things die because of human activities. For instance, sometimes we destroy the homes of animals to make room for buildings or roads, or we dump trash in rivers and the fish and plants die. You can help protect land. If you have a yard, help your parents make a compost pile. This is a place where you can throw away food waste, such as banana peels and potato peelings. Over time, your food scraps turn into healthy soil. Helping plant trees or a garden is a way to make the land healthier. Gardens also save energy. If people grow their own food, then trucks do not need to transport food from far away. To help wildlife, learn more about animals and how they live. Go to parks, wildlife preserves, and other places you can appreciate nature. At a national park, you can join a kid ranger program and help keep the land safe and clean for animals. Next, encourage your friends and family to help protect the land in your community. It all starts with you. So what are some ways that you plan to keep the environment and our planet safe now that we read that story? That's something for you to think about. And I will see you in our next video. Thanks for watching.